You already know this is Punch Run Boxing, aka Mr. Moonshot himself. I'm livid, I'm upset, but you gotta congratulate Amanda Serrano, the seventh division world champion. The GWOAT, the GWOAT, she got robbed today. But let's go to the main event. Mike Tyson look every bit of 58 years old. I said on Twitter, follow me on Twitter, Mr. Moonshine 10. I said that um, Tyson, uh, Mike Tyson, of course, he hadn't let a, a, a knee injury. He couldn't really explode off, off, off his, you know, right cross and things of that nature, uppercuts. Um, but I think Jake Paul should have took a little bit more risk, you know what I'm saying? Especially later on in the rounds and stuff like that. I think he was, like he said in the post fight interview, he was scared of, you know, really, really engage and take that type of risk. Um, but hey, you know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people didn't feel the atmosphere was kind of dull after a couple of rounds when, when Mike Tyson seemed like he really don't want to engage too much or couldn't engage too much, couldn't really pull the trigger um, versus Jake Paul. Um, I think the Jake Paul should have made it a little bit more of a fight, though. But in, anyway, man, this was a great, a great event. Man, most valuable promotions, A-class, loved them. Shout out to Jake Paul, shout out to Nakisa, shout out to Amanda Serrano, shout out to Jordan. For real, man, Amanda Serrano, the team, the sis, the family, everybody. Um, Netflix, Netflix, I wish that it could stay in the sport of boxing. You know what I'm saying? But this is how I feel about how King Cedo is performing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, dumb, dumb. Hey, I'm in the bad food, damn it, because everybody outside and I'm kind of upset. But anyway, um, I mean, look, it is what it is. I think this is this is great for the sport of boxing that Jake Paul, and I've been saying that Jake Paul is a plus in the sport of boxing, um, you know, bringing Netflix and I hope that other promotional companies take a, take advantage of this opportunity. Um, you know what I'm saying? Because look, ESPN is probably about to leave boxing as well because the contract with Top Rank ends. They're not going to renew that contract. So Top Rank is going to be looking for a new home. Probably going to be The Zone. Probably going to be Amazon Prime. We don't know. Shout out to PBC for, for announcing the David Benavides versus David Morrell. But Netflix, I'm saying like this, man. These people are eight class. I, Boxing needs Netflix. It was incredible. Dallas, Texas, Cowboy Stadium, AT&T. You know, it, it was beautiful. It was a beautiful event. The most, the best event I've ever been in. The best event I've ever been in. Um, let me know what y'all think, man. Subscribe to the channel, smash the like button, and shout out to all the followers, shout out to all the subscribers and the members. Those are the people that smash the like button and share the, the channel and, and donate to the channel as well, man. Shout out to KSO, my brother, Charles to Edward Cheese. Shout out to everybody, man. I love y'all. My kiddos, King, wife, kids, everybody, man. Love y'all. God bless. Subscribe to the channel. Smash the like button. Maybe next time. I don't know what Amanda is going to go and do. In the post-fight interview, Mike Texas said that he's not finished yet. Maybe he needs to fight guys since it's an old dude like Evander Holyfield. How about Lennox Lewis? Let me know what y'all think, man. Subscribe to the channel. Smash the like button. Love you. God bless. And on to the next.